All right, guys, it's a fire sale in McAllen. <laughs> the Mac Daddy of sales. Everything has got to go. So here's the deal. Before it all goes away, we want to talk you guys through it. So the McAllen lineup is coming your way next. Guys, this is Scotch for Dummies. We have something special tonight, Sean. This is pretty cool. I mean, this is a nice it's lineup. It's awesome. I know we got to get rid of some inventory. But, right? Uh, We're going to bring the other two in on this, too. All right. Don't Sounds worry. Like they're not going to get out of this. What we got looking at here? Uh, there's a line of Scotch down We've got the bar. some different categories. We've got the sherry. We've got the double, the triple. We've got some past releases to talk about, some addition series, and, of course, the The fine. big dogs. So, uh, you know, it's not that often that you get a bunch of the same scotches from one distillery in one place. And so we thought while we had the opportunity, we would walk everybody through. We're not really gonna give a review per se. A lot of these we've already done a review on, but the goal of this video is to just real quick give you a heads up of the lineup of McAllen so you guys can make an informed decision when you're at the store. What What's different about these? What's the same? What are they talking about on their boxes? And we just thought it'd be kind of yeah. a fun video to do. So, so let's start down here. What do you think? Yeah. All, All right. right. I'm going to grab the sherry one. Okay. I'm going to give you the double. And let's talk about what we got on the nose and All right. do your thing. So before we get started, these are both 12 years old. They're both 43% ABV. The only difference between these two bottlings is that this one is exclusively in sherry cask finish. This one is a double cask finish. So it's American and European oak finished with sherry, and then the Macallan new make goes into those barrels to be aged for 12 years. So basically the only difference is the addition of an, an extra kind of wood to this. So we're going to see what the difference plays out in uh, the flavor profile. And this is the core range. I mean, this is something you're going to yeah, find every absolutely. store going forward. I mean, the 12 is really what got us started in our whole journey to begin with, right? Honestly, we've never done this lineup before, so I'm kind of interested to see what the differences and similarities are between the Cheers. two scotches. Heck yeah. Oh, wow. That sherry's nice, actually, in the 12-year-old. This one... Uh, toffee. It's got a little bit of that Macallan sulfur nose to it. Um... But I also get some of the bourbon vanilla. The sherry is buried down a little bit there, that sherry sweetness, uh, but it is there. This is actually a really, for 43, it's got a little bit of heat, believe it or not. Um, but the sherry, the oak, the, the, the really almost charring factor with the sherry is actually really nice for a 12 year old. I actually really like this I, one. I don't know about you, but mine tastes a little hotter than 43. And it does. Um, and not in a bad way, but I mean, it's, it's definitely there and it's pronounced. So you have the sherry, I have the uh, double. Whoa, that's a big difference, isn't it? This one to me smells more sweet. Um, that one has a lot more of that American casking influence to it me. Um, this one has a lot more pronounced sweetness to it. I, I get a lot more sherry Deeper, like in toffee this. and caramel yeah. notes in this one. This more has more of the lighter side to it. Oh, this is really easy to drink. Now, obviously, I've got a little bit of sherry finish on my palate still, but this is a really nice. Um, this has even got like a charred sugar kind of finish. thing on the finish. It's mm -hmm. it's nice, yeah. and you know this was the the Macallan Twelve. The the sherry was the first scotch yeah. that got us into this. Like yep. that scotch led to everything else. Yeah. Um, so this is nice. I mean, it's kind of a callback to our roots, but it'd be cool um, to see you guys. It's interesting. Take the challenge and compare it to if you're at a, you know a, lick, a bar I, or your house or whatever. Or I will say that they are different. Yeah, that, they absolutely. are distinctly different. So you know, if you're looking for a, a quick thought experiment to get into, like if you're first getting into scotch and you want to do some cask comparisons, really the only difference between those two is the addition of another cask, which makes it kind of unique. So, okay. uh, but they're both great. Cool let's, range. Let's bring the other guys in and see what they think about this. Heck those. yeah! Uh, they get to try just this one. Just one. <laughs> All right, it's our turn. We're going to talk to you guys about yep. these three bottles right here. And interestingly enough, there's three bottles, two juices. That's correct. So these two here are 15-year-old Macallan. Now, the key about these is they are in different boxes. One is a past release. This is the Macallan Fine Oak. And this is the 15-year-old Triple Cask. Now, the, the theoretically, and we're going to test, test this here in a second, the juice in these two are the same. So you've got uh, two, or 
the first two casks are aligned with these, the, the 12 year old double casks, where you have sherry finished American and Spanish oak. Or European oak. European oak. European oak. But then with this, they also have some American oak ex bourbon that are not sherry finished. So they spend 12 years in those casks and then they bring them together, marry them together to create the, the triple cask. Right. And we will see if the old release, the past release of the 15 fine oak, tastes like what is right and the reason we're saying that is that we were told by McKellen ambassador at one of the whiskey events that they they repackaged it because of the confusion that the fine oak was causing uh, uh, to their their market um, interestingly enough there are three different ranges in the triple cask here um, it is a 12, a 15, and an 18, so obviously we have the 15 here. So we're going to talk about these two, and then we'll get into this little white box here in a second. But um, we're going to have to share glasses here to see. So, yes. I mean, so, I'm, so I've got let's the... Let's see, first of all. Mm, pretty closely called. Uh, let's see, this one seems, the, uh, the triple count seems a little bit lighter. Get your hand out of there. I don't know about all that. <laughs> all right, it looks pretty close it's to pretty me. Close. All right. John knows. Okie. Very oaky. Very wood, yeah. Very woody. I I will give it this that doesn't have a ton of sulfur, which is, you know, uh, something I usually catch on the, the McKellens. I really heavily on this, the 12 sherry. Um, I don't get it that heavy on this. No, and I will say, uh, talking to a lot of people that I know that like McKellens, uh, the 15 seems to be the, uh, a, a very favorite one. You know, 15 is the best one. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. So um, I don't know if I've ever had the 15. So, you know, this is kind of interesting to me. Oh, yeah. So the nose has a lot of the caramel and toffee. Um, so if you get the, she the, the sherry seasoning, but you add in that non-sherry seasoning, you should feel more wood, more vanillas. I can see that. The, the flavor is great. I mean, I'm not getting any of the sulfur on the palate. I'm getting, again, more of the, the caramel. Very caramel. I, boy, I get that European oak. You know spice? I, oh, yeah. I really get a hard spice on that, which comes from that European oak. So I, I definitely get a, a strong wood uh, on the nose, a, a strong oak on the nose. I don't get much of the sherry notes at all on it, to be honest with you. On the palate, I'm getting a lot of the sherry. I actually, on the, on the end of the nose, I can get the soft sherryness of it. Well, this, this doesn't have as much nose on it, I don't think. I was going to say the same thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. It's really funny. Mm. Those are pretty close. Those are really close. Yeah, they are. Uh, shout out to the PPWC, which is the Proper Port Whiskey Club. That was the coin I we were using on the top and of this. And the Scotch Test. And the Scotch Test. Coin number 128. I think I've, I've got... PPWC 72. I don't know if they, two. they made a shout out. We had Aquavite and Trenny and C on those yep. two. So just want to give everybody a shout out. So honestly, um, I think this is, this is, but for, from what I know of drinking these, you guys, I say this is, these are definitely different whiskeys. Yes. I, I'll probably say yes and agree that they're probably the same juice. They're, they're close enough for me to at least say yeah. so. But Regardless of they're the same or not, they are definitely different and unique from these. They're not nearly as heavily sherried, I don't think, and I think under palate. Right. I agree. I think they're refined. I think they're smooth, smoother, which is I don't know if that's a term, but it, it just it's a really it's a more refined flavor. It's more rounded on the edges. It's not as sharp and ang angular as some of these can be. Now, forty three percent ABV, um, which so were the first two as well. So similar when it comes to that. But a, a definite price jump too, and I don't know the exact price in the 15s, but I know it is it is a jump from the 12. Um, I just know that it's a lot more popular as from from diehard Scotch McKellen fans. But um, I get that heavy spice note. That's that's what's prominent yeah. to me. Is the European oak really jumps out to me on that? So, I agree. Um, what do we got here? This is a different bottle. Yeah, so, gonna find this one around. No, this isn't. This is a past release here. This is the McKellen Gold. Uh, it is part of their, their 1824 series where they had the gold, the amber, the sienna, and the ruby. So that, that was a, a, when they McKellen really first went into a non-age statement release. This is kind of some of their first trials into that where they, uh, they changed the casking to try and uh, add the different color. And supposedly all of that line are all natural color. But based on the different castings, you have the, the gold, the um, ruby, and the sienna. So... Based on what I was see. in the barrel, you got a different color. Non -age but, statement. but it was still, it's a non age statement, it's 40% ABV. Right. But the casking is kind of what they were trying, Bob Delagano was trying to uh, 
defining that based on what a casking can do to the color of a whiskey. So, well, while you know it, I'm gonna say no nonsense. No nonsense whiskey coin number two hundred five. I'm so glad he got into these. All right, what do you think? That's a very light whiskey. The Ooh, nose, the, the nose is um, wow. yeah. You don't have nearly as much sherry oh. influence in it. Clearly, uh, a little bit of more. I guess I'm getting vanilla. I'm not getting a lot of you know heavy rich flavors. Any rich like ruby fruits or any. It could definitely no smoke. McCallum's I know for their smoke, so they, that's not what you're getting there. What are you getting? All right. So on the nose, very light. Again, no sulfur for McKellen, which is great. I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, I expected to just have a whole nose full of, of sulfur. Um, and definitely lighter. I, I think it's sweeter. And it is lighter on the palate as well as far as approachability. And I think that comes with your 40% ABV. It's, it's much easier to drink. But um, there's a sweet note to it, a sweet softness to it, I guess I'll say. It's just a, a really easy drink. It just goes down really smooth. It's got a sweetness to it. I wouldn't say it's got anything more than that. I don't get any, you know, crazy sherries or anything, but it doesn't, they're not exactly. trying to do it. it I, I think this is, this one is probably their most um, true to their true spirit, to their pure spirit, because it has less of the barrel influence and no sherry covering it up. This is really the true spirit, and it's light, and it's which, su- which surprises me. It, yeah. It's pleasant. It's it's an easy drinking. Now I don't know the price point on this, and this is a past release, so I don't think yep. it, it's fair to really get into that. But as far as McKellen's and the easiest drinking McKellen I've ever had, I'd have to say this probably it's, is it. It's it's, it's, right it's enjoyable. Boy, I wish they would have bottled it at forty three or forty six percent. Yep. So Ooh. now we will hand it back over to some other dummies and see what's going on. No, oh, we're going to call the other two back in well, here. We're yeah, going to get into these additions. These How addition about series, that? which... So those are fun. fun. Let's talk about <laughs> Each of the additions features something special that they're doing to the Macallan, right? So the addition two is the earliest edition we could get our hands on. Which we can get the right? one. Uh, but the edition two, they partnered up with uh, Roca the Roca Brothers. So... Famous chefs, and their whole goal was they were shooting for a specific flavor profile, right? They they were picking barrels to dial in their scotch, right? McAllen edition number three, they had a famous perfumer, and so his involvement. Paris, was that yeah, it? yeah. Dumier, uh, uh, his involvement was was the the smell and the aroma yeah, of the, the scotch. The nose of the scotch. Yeah. He was less focused on the actual flavor profile or anything else. It was all about the aromas and and what they were shooting for. Roja Dove was his name. That, yeah, that's go. the guy. All right. And then edition four, I don't remember edition I four. I think that was the one we had a lot of different um, ambassadors or McAllen reps basically pick the cast they wanted, right. I think. This was more of an in-house selection creation yeah, right, as opposed determined. to these two were going out. Edition one was in-house too. It was all yeah. the master distiller at yeah. McAllen. It was his. I believe the McAllen one is the same casking as Mac 6. Leave so we've been told, be. and wish we could get a bottle of that know. one. So these are all bottled at a little bit higher ABV than normal for Which McAllen. Which is fun too. They're forty eight point two, point three, and point four. <laughs> two for the, you know, Editions. two, three, and four for the additions. How about that? Uh, and they're they're very unique. Uh, I, I feel like these additions, and I I've got a soft spot in my heart for addition two. Not gonna lie. Yeah, That's this really two, good. fantastic. Uh, but I feel like what they set out to do, they accomplished. Um, it, it's an interesting experiment, basically. Um, and pulling people from outside the world of Scotch whiskey to be a part of it, I think is a really unique experience uh, to kind of let people come in that, that have extreme experience in right. you know, flavor yeah. profiles or aromas exactly. to, to come in and, and be a part of that and, and to kind of help develop a line yeah. is kind of a unique deal. Right. right. They're not just pulling somebody off the street and saying, hey, we'll help us pick some casts. These are people that are at the top of their industry. Right. Now, be mindful. These, every day, on the, any liquor store, these... Maybe harder yeah, to find. Maybe you can, get, that, you can get the This one you can get for sure. Yeah. This one, these are discontinued. These guys... Starting to turn like unicorns. Good luck finding that one. This one is out there a little bit. This one's out there a little bit, but very... Yeah, it's a scarce. limited edition. Yeah. So Hard to if find. you see one and you want to try one, you better grab it when you can. Yep. We so all we know the story so, about how you miss out two, if you don't. 
Got a Scotch or a coin? How about that edition? Well, this is the first release Scotch or a coin. Which one do you have? He's three. got. I have three. He's okay. got three, which is the International Space Station coin. Oh, I which got. Which was gifted. Number hey, uh, four, Eric White. Well, you guys are. There's three glasses and four of us, and I I want to yeah. call uh, shenanigans. Yeah, uh, why don't you give me that gold? Because <laughs> I I, I want to kind of try it. I, I'm kind of no curious. nonsense let's, on that one. Let's go three okay, twelve so. of these. We've we've reviewed all these before. Um, obviously, I think we're all kind of favorites of two so far. I think from from past history. But who's got the two right now? I do. All right. Here. So what you got in the two? I got sweet loveliness. Honestly, this is <laughs> I, I as far when I came into the two. Um, I was still, still, you know, very, very sensitive to the McKellen sulfurs, and this one was the first one that I was like, "Wow, it's not there." It just smells absolutely delicious. There's a little bit of brown sugar note in there, a little bit of a spice, maybe a, 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 a nutmeg or, or, or an allspice. I tell you what, the, the the higher ABV definitely helps. Yeah, it punches through a little bit. Damn, it's delicious. <laughs> so the, Love the, that one. the edition number three is different in that it it's like a floral highlight, like Glenmorangie or something that, that is it is it, it's not as a heavy of a spirit. I don't think as the rest of this. Now it theoretically it's the same spirit, but the way he's blended that and the way he's picked the nose on that, I really think it is more of a perfume. I mean, it's it's a floral, it's lighter, it um, it's creamy on the palate. It just it it tastes like flowers. That are whiskey. That, it, are, that are steeped in whiskey. It is lighter. It, it is, is definitely a lighter. This is, this is it is. much more reminiscent of a, a light Highland. This is the four. That's the four. So the four, to me, is malt madness. It's got lots of malt, lots of brown sugars, um, a little bit of heather as well. Not too much, but just, just a little bit of it. And on, on the, the palate, man, it's... It's like cereal, raisin bran, you know, some more maltiness, some of, the, some of the, the wood is coming out, the oakness of the wood. What do you so think? The, you should try some I, of that. I'll tell you what, it, it's, it's been a minute since I've had the two and the four. The four is good. It is. It's really nice. Um, the two, I think, has probably oxidized just a little bit. It's lost a, just a, a, a tint, right? But, I mean, it still packs a punch. It's got really nice flavor. The four, to me, has a, a just a hint of more depth of flavor than the two at this point. But again, open bottle, a little right. bit of oxidation. So mm, two's good. I, I thought that the three actually lighter. And the, the nose was really pleasant. It was very ar yeah. aromatic. I, there was a lot floating around in the nose. I remember when we did the review on the three. I just wanted to smell it for right. like an yeah. hour. I mean, it really, really nice has a great um, nose. I. <laughs> To me, it just it had more heat than I thought it would have. I don't know why. I mean, it's got 0.1 percent more ABV, <laughs> yeah, but it, it seemed it felt hotter. Mm -hmm. um, it, it filled my mouth though. It, it was definitely the edition series is pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely different from McAllen. I, I really appreciate what they're doing with that. Um, are, are they stopping? Are they going further? Do you guys know? They uh, say they're going to go further. further. Yeah, okay. I, I believe they're. Gonna do one or two more? Yeah, no. I, I, I okay. thought you said they weren't. And I was oh, like, yeah. I thought that they were. They were thinking yeah. about going. Uh, so I'm liking what they're doing. I like you said earlier. I like that they're kind of <sighs> unique about each one. Well, and I, I like the fact that I mean they're very transparent on the box about what barrels they're using, where they're sourcing them from. Uh, it, it's a really interesting kind of experiment, and they've got like a little pie chart on the back to let you know like how much out of each of these kinds of barrels they're they're deriving from the yeah. final. Uh, bottle. So uh, it's an interesting series. I, I'm anxious to try a few more. So I'm not going to lie. The four, I think, I, is, is similar to the two in, in, in a bit of a spiciness, but uh, to me, the four had more cinnamon than mm. the, the two spice. Had, had spice, but it was, the four just seems like it's hot on the cinnamon side to me. Mm -hmm. um, the, the three I thought was interesting. I, I don't remember liking it quite as much when we did the review. But I love the nose, and I remember loving the nose. But on the palate, it's it's got a nice, pleasant. I didn't get the heat on it. Yeah, I mean, I, it's like to, to me, it, it was a very nice, pleasant scotch. It's very light, heatherly, very uh, perfumish, if you will. I mean, it's yeah, kind of different. It's kind of you can to tell. I, I will say that you can definitely tell that a chef put this bottle together, or chefs, 
and a perfumer put this bottle together. Yeah, I agree it's with that. Very different from the same distillery. It's very interesting. Yeah, so theoretically, all the new make spirit is the same for all of these. It's just all about the barrel and what that barrel does to that whiskey and the age of that barrel and you know what it does in there. That's and we've talked about the the core, if you will, some of the past releases, the edition series. We've got the rare and then the M series. Is that correct? Yep. So yeah, it's like step up and then step up. You know yeah, what I mean? The, the, yeah. the rare and the decanter series, which is really the key to right. their high end. Life. Now I I remember, to me, you're talking about a definite dividing line there here is. on the McCallum. Huge dividing line. You're talking about it really dividing line, dividing line, yeah. right? Special series, core range. To me, these are even though this is kind of a core range bottle, I it mean, is. They, it's really out there and available. But these are more special, special occasions, occasions special scotches, occasions. right? You're not going to buy these to be an everyday drinker for the most part. I mean, these are nope. for something that you have in mind, right? We were very excited when we brought the Rare Cast right. home. I remember being super geeked about it. It's one of those bottles, right? The packaging is beautiful. Um, you open it up. The bottle itself is very pretty. Yeah, I think I remember. If I remember right, we had like uh, angels singing when we, we opened did. the gas. It was one of our earlier reviews. It, 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 it's one of those. I mean, it, it is a special bottle, and it, it weighs a ton. It, it's a really nice. It's glass. It's not crystal, but you know, it, it's a it's nice still bottle. Glass. It's beautiful. Cork weighs that, like a pound. Yeah. We were super impressed with the cork because um, <laughs> it, it's huge and it's 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 just kind of unique. So that was a really fun bottle. Uh, I don't remember anything super memorable about the bottle itself. Uh, you know, the whiskey was it, it was it, it was, was not nice. good. It was okay. three, maybe not three hundred dollars. I was right. disappointed for the juice at the price point. Forty three right ABV. Yeah. You know, it's it's sherry casking. It, it, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. And if you're buying this, you're probably buying it for a special occasion. It is. It is. And it's so clean, if you it's like sherry pure. scotches and you're looking for something special. That may fit your bill. Yep. This one is a big step up from that. All yeah. right. Big step. Uh, More than ten times. Let's uh, let's slide this open. You are getting a Lalique Crystal Decanter to hold the scotch, uh, which is what's the word I'm looking for? Elegant price point. Uh, expensive. El elegant. Sure. Let's go with elegant. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but here's no. the thing. Excessive. You, again, you aren't buying this to be an everyday drink. No. You no. know, you drink? You're, you're buying it for the experience. You know, maybe it's birth of a child or wedding or, you know, some other big celebration, you know, retirement party. I can see somebody buying something like this for an occasion like that. A very, right? very special and, occasion. And, I mean, it's a Corian box. It's kind of ridiculous, but... You know, it's something Crazy that you heavy. can keep as a keepsake. You can put this on your shelf. It's a, it's a keepsake memento of yeah. something special in your life. So it's not just about the whiskey on on something like this. But the event, let's the talk experiment. about the whiskey. Yes. Talk the about whiskey the itself, whiskey. and we poured just a little splash because we had just a little splash left. How about that? Yeah, we, we, but just a wee bit of you'll notice that the color of this particular whiskey is slightly darker than it's, some of the others that were up in this lineup. What do we know about it? Because there's not an age statement on, on the bottle, in the box, obviously. What, what we have, we've done a little research and we've seen some like behind the scenes industry kind of gossip stuff that said it was about 20 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, which the other nice thing about McAllen is because of the way the stills are shaped and, and how they distill, it, it lets in a little bit of sulfur, right? right? And we've talked about it in some of the younger scotches. Sure. It, it needs time. And if you get up into the high teens and 20s, that sulfur note goes away mm -hmm. and you're left with a really refined scotch, um, which is what we have in the glass. I mean... Really, when you're talking about this, and I know people beat it up on the 43 ABV. We got a lot of comments mm -hmm. on our, our review know of this. Point of that, but but to be honest, to me, when I was drinking this scotch, it was just right. Right? I don't have to add water. I don't have to mess around. I can pour a dram and enjoy it. And it is exactly it is where great, I would perfect put it. It's 43. It, is, it, it really, really is a different taste than what we've had so far. I oh, mean, it is. It's, a, it's so much more of that sherry bomb. I mean, it's closer to this than anything, to be honest with you, what I've had so far. But it Without blows, any but, of that sulfur. But it blows it, like, 
no, no. times ten. I yeah. mean, it's so much more of a cherry bomb. I mean, it's, it's good. It's actually compared to, to some other things we've I had. Can do so. Macallan is interesting because they have such a wide variety. They've got a mm. huge lineup. Massive. They've got a huge warehouse wow. full of scotch, and they can put out a lot of volume. Mm. So they've got a, a great range of scotches to try. A lot of smaller distilleries, you're looking at, you know, three or four age ranges, maybe a special edition here and there, but, you know, much less of a breadth. Whereas, to me, McAllen gets confusing when you walk in the store, well, right? They I mean, just there's a lot. a new distillery. It's, it's going to get even better. Um, they're right. gonna, they, they're, they actually are known to have the largest stockpile of whiskey barrels right now under roof right yes. i'm pretty sure yep. under yep. under roof mccallan owns more filled casks than any anyone in the world i mean that's a lot of whiskey they do a lot of whiskey so uh, guys this was an interesting lineup i, I had fun with this yeah. this was good uh, i mean it, it actually just scratched the surface of the mccallan to be honest with you a lot more out um there. but let's be honest with you some of them um, this is you're going to see a lot of these on the shelves anyway and, and hopefully and, and maybe some of these and very and essentially variations of these so we got the single cast the double cast the triple cast some of the bad past releases the additions and then the high end lineup that but ends. these do come in different age stages yes. is what you're saying yeah absolutely that's yeah, good, so good up point. and down across all these yeah. and, and i feel each of them has a a, a place it does right yeah. so Thanks for watching, guys. Grab a glass, grab a glass guys. <laughs> no, oh, you grabbed that. <laughs> you First that. one, do That's it. That's the two. First one, do it. That's the two. That's the two. I'll take the two. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Slash it.